earlier this morning on the operation to extract beam from Dragon's trunk, um, where Dragon commonly carries unpressurized cargo, different payloads attached to the outside of the International Space Station took place. Uh, this uh, extraction beginning at right around 1.20 a.m. Central Time, 2.20 a.m. Eastern Time, with the Canada Arm 2 grappling on to the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module and beginning to slowly extract it. Um, this was done first by um, releasing two sets of latches that were uh, holding beam in place to Dragon's trunk. Uh, first set released, uh, the arm then grappled, uh, then the second set released, and then the arm slowly backed it away. And then over the last several hours, robotics controllers down here on the ground, uh, Laura Lucier, the robo inside Mission Control Houston today, have been maneuvering the arm into its eventual install point. Um, but again, all of this kicking off earlier this morning, uh, the first latches, or the second uh, set of latches opening at 12.58 a.m. Central, and then that extraction happening at 1.20 a.m. And that brings us to where we are right now, beam again just inches away from the aft port of the Tranquility Module, where it is going to be attached for the next two years. Um, during that time, crew members will enter beam periodically to take various measurements and monitor the performance of the module. This view that we'll see a couple of times, this is a camera actually set up in uh, on the inside of the International Space Station, set up by uh, crew member Jeff Williams. This is what's known as the centerline berthing camera. Um, looking right out of the common berthing mechanism at the aft port. So that view straight into beam right now where you can see uh, everything pretty lined up as beam. Again, just a couple of inches away from the docking port where uh, we should see uh, it attached within the next hour or so. Up and here you can see beam beginning to close that distance in. Uh, but the uh, expandable module, once it's um, fully uh, expanded, will have roughly the same amount of uh, cubic volume as a, as a small bedroom. It'll have a, a cubic volume of 565 cubic feet, um, weighing in at just a little over 3,100 pounds. That's complete, and they're all 69 now. We see the same. Go to press with step 5.4. And so all the latches now cooperating, continuing um, to drive in. Um, just one more latch sequence to go. Moving on to step 6. You think it occurs? And just now getting confirmation, second stage capture has been completed. And that coming at 4.36 a.m. Central Time, 5.36 a.m. Eastern Time. While well, the station was about 255 statute miles over the southern Pacific Ocean. Uh, we'll take one last look at beam. You can see the uh, station's robotic arm now backing away um, as it uh, successfully transferred the expandable module from the trunk of the Dragon spacecraft over to its new home on the aft port of the Tranquility module where it's going to be attached for the next two years for a very important technology demonstration. The first human rated expandable structure to be flown in space now attached to the International Space Station.